month officially begins tomorrow and many people in our community say it is more important than ever to show support. Yeah, and the Episcopal Cathedral is actually uh, showing pride, lighting up with colors of the rainbow. They're also hosting a series of uh, events for Pride Month, starting with their icons exhibit, highlighting members of the LGBTQ plus community. At Pix 11's Katie Corrado is live in Morningside Heights with the message they want everyone to hear. Hi, Katie. Hi, Shirley and Corey. Good evening. St. John the Divine is kicking off a month of Pride events, including one celebrating LGBTQ plus families, another featuring performances from LGBTQ plus composers. But they kicked off the celebrations early tonight with Pride Eve. The lights may pull you in, but Father Patrick Malloy hopes you leave knowing this. The Episcopal Church has for a very long time affirmed the dignity of LGBTQ people. We would say that love between people in a, in a, in a same-sex relationship can be just as, as holy and dignified. St. John the Divine welcoming the start of Pride Month with Pride Eve. The cathedral unveiled a new art installation depicting members of the LGBTQ plus community and invited people to make art of their own. I think seeing any embracing of communities is incredible. It's heartwarming to see. Walking in, like it's so exciting to see so many people and see all of the artwork out and people like making art as well. The cathedral's rainbow beams of light also a sign of inclusivity, one many people may not expect to see in a place of worship. Coming in here and like seeing how welcome and accepted everybody is, it's inspiring, especially like in a church atmosphere. The Pride celebrations come amid increased anti trans sentiment nationwide. Target lost $9 billion in a week because of backlash over its Pride merchandise. And Bud Light sales dropped nearly 30% following a partnership with a trans influencer. St. John's is trying to counter the discrimination with open arms. But I promise you there is a place for you in this church, in the Episcopal Church, and here at St. John the Divine. And the rainbow lights will remain up inside the cathedral for the entire month of June, as long as the church is open. Reporting live in Morningside Heights, I'm Katie Corrado, Pix 11 News.